this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hello, Virgo. All right, keep in mind I said general love reading. So <clears throat> this is not a twin soul reading. Um, if twin souls come up, I will definitely, you know, I'll roll with that. <laughs> but as for now, this is just a general um <clears throat> general love reading and it is timeless and it's for Virgo we left off on Leo so now we're in Virgo all right one second all right Virgo so like I said this is going to be a timeless read so whenever you find this reading it's for you I'm starting out with the oceanic tarot all right here we go Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? <clears throat> Virgo. What do we got for Virgo? Like I said, this reading is timeless, but we're going to be focusing on the energy of September. So what does Virgo need to know about their love life for September? All the Virgos that watch me, what do they need to know? <clears throat> Whoa, Virgo, looks like you have some love coming in. So we have Ace of Cups. That's your very first card. That's a wonderful card to start out with, Virgo. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, still got some throat chakra issues going on with myself. Six of Swords. Wow. So, we have Ace of Cups. We have Six of Swords. Inner Peace. You find your person when you find your inner peace. Loyalty. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. So... The card says loyalty. This shows me right away that <clears throat> the person coming in for you, Virgo, might be very, very patient. Um, they're obviously very loyal. The turtle, the way the person is riding on the turtle shows me that they're a very patient energy. You could be dealing with another earth sign. You know, pentacles is always earth energy. So that would be Taurus, Capricorn, or another Virgo, right? <clears throat> um this person is going to come in September when you're at this feeling of like, you're going to have this really strong feeling of like inner peace. You know, you might be deep in a, a meditation or, I mean, hell, you might just be like outside hanging out, you know, in nature or something. And you're going to feel this really, really peaceful sensation. Like, wow, like this is what I want my life to be like all of the time. And that I feel like that's going to be the time when your person is going to either manifest into your life shortly after or they're going to contact you if it's someone you already know. So six is also the number of like spiritual practices. So like I said, I feel like you're going to be doing something spiritual when you meet this person or when they contact you, okay? So like I said, you're either going to be meditating, maybe you're in a yoga class. I mean, who knows, right? <clears throat> the world regeneration. Wow, Virgo, this is really beautiful energy for you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. So the world is about completing cycles, right? It's a regeneration. Um, so it's, it's a regeneration it's okay. I can't talk. It's Mercury retrograde. So give me a little second. I'm having trouble like using words to try to explain everything that I'm seeing um, in my head from, from, you know, the energy and the spirit guides. So it's a regeneration in the fact that once you completed these cycles, which I already see that you've completed these cycles, Virgo, you're already done. Okay. So you, you're completed You've completed one cycle in your journey and you're getting ready to start another one. And this chapter involves love. Okay. So 
this new chapter is going to sort of revitalize you and it's going to feel like a complete regeneration or rebirth, right? Regeneration is just another fancy word for rebirth. So the energy is going to go from like really peaceful, calm, zen to like, uh, you know, love and, you know, strong attraction. <clears throat> um, but it's because you completed a cycle of lessons and learning in regards to your love life, right? Okay, so what's the final outcome for Virgo and this person in September? Four of Wands, boom. <laughs> so Four of Wands is the reward card in this stack. It's also the stability card. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know what I call the Four of Wands card, right? The four pillars of stability. So the Four of Wands is celebration. It's stability with this person, okay? It's not like, I mean, it could be stability for you, Virgo, but it's like stability uh, for you and your person, my beautiful Virgos. So this is Four of Wands is also representative of marriage. It's my marriage card. Um, Four of Wands and the Hierophant, those are all my, those are both my cards of marriage. Um, so this is creating stability and creating a life with this person. Okay, so the outcome looks really good for you and this person, Virgo. So if you're seeing someone now, I would stick with this relationship, okay? Now, I'm not saying if this is like toxic and you're with this person who treats you like absolute shit, then this is an this is not not it's not this person, obviously, because this wouldn't be someone who treats you bad. Okay? This is someone who's loyal, someone who's stable, someone who's done the spiritual work just like you, Virgo, and they are wanting to create a stable committed loyal relationship with you they're not stringing you along they're not you know indecisive they know exactly what they want and it is a life with you so for instance for example creating stability together would be like buying a house together um taking your relationship to the next level stating oh we're in a relationship where you know this is where you change your facebook status to in a relationship and you know, you let the world know you're proud that you guys are together. You know what I mean? This is no hiding in the shadows or I'm not sure if I want to be with you. So your status stays to single forever. It's not that fucking stupid fuckboy energy, right? This is someone who would actually is ready to commit to you. They're ready to buy the house. They're ready to commit to you. They're ready to show you off to the world. You know, they know what they want and they want to create a life with you, Virgo. Okay, so we're going to be done with those that tarot section because your reading was so good that we don't even need to go any further. I mean, look at that. We have Ace of Cups to start out with. And every single card has been good since then. Like, there's no... By the way, the Knight of Pentacles is also an offer of love. Um, probably from an Earth sign, like I said. Just like you. So you know the energy is good, too, because um, they're coming in patient and calm. They're not coming in, like, with wands energy. They're coming in slow and steady. They've made their decision, and they want to be with you. Okay, so let's see what the romance angels have to say about this connection as well. And just to clarify and verify the energy we're picking up on. Okay. So what does our beautiful Virgos need to know about this beautiful connection that's coming in for them in September? Your guys', your guys read, Virgo, might be the best read I've done so far this month. It's just incredibly beautiful, pure love energy. I love it. I love this so much for you. And I'm so surprised because normally I feel like every single Virgo reading I've done there's always been some kind of fear and there's, you know, love is never, is never seems to come in for Virgo because you guys have been in this fear mentality for so long. Me channeling has just, has always been just fear, fear, fear for Virgo, holding back fear, fear. And now it's like you've got through that shit and now here it is, your reward, which is love. And it's so fucking beautiful and I'm just so proud of you guys. It's insane. All right. What is the message for the Ro for Virgo for um, from the Romance Angels? Let's see what else. 
is coming in for our beautiful earth signs, our beautiful Virgos. They're in such a lovely energy. And in the middle of Mer Mercury retrograde, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So it's possible this energy is coming in because you guys are retreating. You guys have been in sort of hermit mode. And during this hermit mode, you've been doing so much work. You've been trying to discover what it is that Virgo wants. And Virgo wants love. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. <laughs> Let those feelings out, my beautiful Virgo. Do not, well, you know what? I, I was going to say, do not let the fear um, take over, but it, it looks like you're not. You're definitely not. You're definitely all in. <clears throat> um, but this is showing me as well that your person has, you have the green light. Your person also has romantic feelings for you as well. You know, the, the feeling is mutual. I'll just say that. There's a, a man and a woman on here. They're both kissing. And Cupid is in the corner. Literally, Cupid's in the corner going, uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is a divinely guided um, partnership. You know, it's guided by the angels. I think I'm going to call this reading guided by Cupid. It's just perfect. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So... For some of you Virgos, I know, I know. Trust me, I understand. My ex-husband is a Virgo. So <clears throat> you guys tend to want to be able to take care of your person. So if I'm speaking right now to a Virgo male, I understand your need to want to take care of your person. And that's a phenomenal um, thing to want, right? But I'm going to say this to you, Virgo. Do not let that hold you back. Okay, do not let that hold you back because I guarantee that your feminine, she just wants you. If she's a true feminine, true divine feminine, you know, and, you know, she's in this beautiful spiritual energy of gratitude, she's not going to worry about your finances. She's just going to worry about the depths of your soul. She wants you. She doesn't want your money. Now, if I'm speaking to a divine feminine and there's some kind of issue around your finances, this is my advice to you. Trust your journey. Trust in your power to be able to manifest what you need from the universe. So I want you both, divine feminine, divine masculine, I don't care who I'm speaking to. If you're worried about your finances and your career, I want you to focus on things that make you happy. Okay, sorry about that, Virgo. <laughs> so my children came in and they made me this beautiful picture. See? Um, it says cutie mark crusaders and it's my little pony. <laughs> so I just propped it up behind my stuff as like a little background right now, which made them very happy. Um, you know, I'm always in mom duty, even when I'm not, when I'm working, I'm working right now, but I'm still in mom duty. So my, my three beautiful children <clears throat> are my whole entire world. And I, the reason I do, you know, everything that I do, including these readings, right, is so that I can provide um, some sort of legacy and financial stability for them so they don't ever have to work a day in their life if they don't ever want to. So anyways, um, so yes, thank, thank you to all of you who've donated and purchased readings for me because you're just creating a future for me and my beautiful children, um, ages 11. Actually, as may Esme is a Virgo, so she's having her birthday on the 14th, <laughs> and she's going to be seven. It's crazy. Time just flew by. And their youngest brother, um, who is five. So I have an 11-year-old, a uh, soon-to-be seven-year-old, and a five-year-old. So, all right. So here's my advice to you. Do like I do. If, if you're worried about your finances and your career, I want you to focus on the things that make your, your heart sing, the things that bring you joy. For me, it's tarot. Like, I wake up and all I think about is tarot. Like, I just want to play with my cards all day. I swear to God. It's all I think about. You know, I eat, sleep, and breathe it. I wake up. I want to do readings for myself. I, I'm planning the next reading I'm going to do for you guys. Like, I, it's this is my whole entire life. And I've always loved tarot since I was 15 years old and I bought my first deck you know, and I just, you know, would always do readings for myself, but I never really understood the cards. And then, you know, just for two years straight, all I did was tarot readings for myself. 
And once I felt comfortable enough to sort of do it for other people, I just dove right in. So doing whatever you like to do that makes you happy, focusing on the joy that that brings you is going to bring in abundance for you. And it's going to be easy. It's not even going to feel like a job. So yes, don't let the financial issues become a factor and don't let it block your love life, please, Virgo, because I see this connection is so incredibly beautiful and you don't want to block it, you know, because of fear of financial shit. Let the universe provide for you, you know, um, and work for you, okay, while you're working. Does that make sense? So, you know, for example, if you need to travel to see your person, put that wish out in the universe and say, look, I need to do this in order to do this and allow the universe to surprise you with miracles. Okay. If you want something, um, bad enough, a way will be provided. That has always been my motto. And I'm telling you, it's always worked for me. I have never wanted for anything. Okay. I've always been taken care of in some way, form, or fashion. Me and my three kids, okay? So, um, and look, on the bottom of the deck, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So see, and I feel like both of you are spiritual warriors or light workers or, you know, way showers, rainbow warriors, whatever. Look at that. Star seeds, you both have this um, Christ-centered energy. Look, the the male is showing her a ball of light and she is um she's accepting it and she's touching it. So, you know, it's it's like they're sharing each other's light, if that makes sense. All right, so we're gonna do um what deck is this? Can't think. Conscious spirit. We're gonna do a conscious spirit card. Um, we're going to do three of these and then we're going to move on to what, um, no, I'm sorry. We're going to move on to your career portion and then your, what is the spirit guide that is assisting you in your love journey. And then we're going to be done. Okay. Three cards for Virgo, please. We have throat chakra. I speak my truth and encourage others to speak theirs. It's number 20. Two is the number of balance. Zero is the number of starting over. It's zero point. So um, this is about speaking your truth, Virgo. This is about allowing yourself to say what needs to be said. However that goes, okay? It's also about balancing your throat chakra, not holding things in. Number nine, Archangel Raphael. So some of you are going through some massive healing right now. I invite Archangel Raphael to bring healing and knowledge into my life. It's number nine. So once you finish, well, I was going to say once you finish the cycle, but we already channeled that you did finish it. But I feel like there's a little bit more healing left to be done because, you know, Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing. So once you finish this healing cycle, Virgo, um, you're going to bring in some massive wealth and abundance. Number nine is the number of wealth and abundance. I don't know what this has to do with love, but literally that's what I'm hearing. And it's funny because we got, look, portal, portal, manifesting. So using the portal of energy to manifest what you need, okay? Okay. Last card for Virgo, for this one, Sun Goddess. So number 33, um, a Sun Goddess is Fire Sign Energy. So Leo Sagittarius, what's the other Fire Sign? Aries, it's number three. So it's the number of the Ascended Masters. So this is either your energy or the energy of your person. Um... Feels like it could be your energy, though, because, you know, it is showing up in your reading. But it says, um, oh, and some of you might have a dragon guide because there's a dragon that the the female is um, 
She is, you know, welcoming the dragon. I celebrate each sunrise and recognize the healing energies of the sun. So some of you might be very, um, very active with like sun codes. Uh, you might do light language sun codes. Your person might, or you just enjoy being in the sun because you like soaking up those sun codes. You know what? It doesn't hurt to go outside and get these sun codes, Virgo, because your sign especially is really, really, um, they, I can't talk. So your sign really, really loves nature and likes to be out in nature. Virgo is the only sign I know of that gets extremely ungrounded if they're not outside all of the time. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to go outside, you know, with your crystals and sit under the sun and soak up those beautiful sun codes. So that is your advice from spirits in order to, you know, concrete, um, seal, and, oh God, I can't, I, I swear this Mercury retrograde is really screwing with me. Um, you know, to solidify this energy of your, you and your person. Good grief. All right. What is the career advice you have for Virgo? We're going to consult the, rom the romance angels. Oh my gosh. Can Mercury retrograde be over? We are going to consult the angels of abundance. Gravy train. I cannot. <laughs> I don't know why I even said that. Unlimited ideas. Okay, so this card is, is about your mind being um, one with the mind of, you know, whatever deity you believe, whether that's Buddha, whether that's Jesus, whether that's God, whether it's source, whether it's the universe, it's lining up your energy so that you can download ideas straight from the source, right? And I'm not using the source like, you know, source God. I'm using source like whatever source you believe in, okay? Whatever is your source of personal power, right? Because you have unlimited ideas. You just have to align with the powers of the divine. And then, you know, take divinely guided steps to, boom, clear debts. <laughs> So some of you are literally getting out of debt at this time um, or getting yourself out of debt is what's going to help your finances or, you know, your career. I don't know. But for some of you, I see like, you know, it says unlimited ideas. So I see that most of you are probably entrepreneurs. You probably work for yourself. Um, whatever the case Feels like this is the year that you're going to get yourself out of debt. I see lots of rainbow colors, lots of abundance coming in for you, Virgo. Yeah, and there's they're saying a big part of your self-care is going to be removing your debt this year. So that's phenomenal. All right. So we're going to do the last card for you, which is going to be the card of the spirit guide that you are working with and your love journey at this time for September and we're going to call this reading. What is the last final message you have for Virgo? What is the last and final message you have for Virgo? Last and final message for Virgo. So I did a complete chakra clearing and healing for myself today. Because I could feel I had a blockage in my solar plexus. And it went really, really well. All right, so I feel really good. Okay, so we have the Web Weaver. Synchronicities, divine intelligence, cause and effect. It's number four. So right off the bat, this card lets me know that this is a divinely guided partnership. So um, though we didn't get any twin flame cards, this in itself is a twin flame card because number four is the number of like being guided by angels. So, though it, you know, any type of divinely guided connection has the potential to be a twin flame connection. So, I'm not saying it is for sure because we didn't get any surrounding cards stating that. But it started out pretty good, right? We got the Ace of Cups, 
And then we got a lot of cards where like, you know, Ascended Master Energy. This is the card of, you know, this relationship being protected by angels. So if it's not a twin flame relationship, I don't understand why the angels would be protecting it so well, right? Do you get what I'm saying? So um, this is also the card of synchronicities. So understanding that every single web um, that we weave, right, in life is connected to the bigger web of the universe. So, for example, if you see, if you've ever looked at a spider's web and you look and you see that all of the parts of the web are all connected in the middle. So it all comes back to the middle, right? Every single part of the spider's web comes right back to the middle. So it's like that saying, all doors, all doors lead back to you. All synchronicities, all signs lead back to you. The web of my life keeps leading me back to you, to the middle, right? So it's about following the synchronicities and the signs to realize that every single synchronicity or coincidence, there are no coincidences, there are no accidents, follow where they lead you to the middle of that web. And that's where you're going to find your person. Okay. The universe and um, the universe is very intelligent. See, it says, I was just about to say that the divine is intelligent and I didn't even realize that it, I mean, I did, but I didn't realize that it was on this card because I just kind of swept it really quick. But I was going to say the universe and the divine is very intelligent. It's not stupid. And so it's always going to lead you and guide you um, to your highest path, which is in this case, your person, right? Everything is cause and effect. So you have to make sure that you are doing good so that good can be shown to you. And now everyone's definition of good and bad is going to be wrong, going to be going to be wrong. It's going to be different because there's no such thing really as bad or good. It's just, you know, a neutral experience. The only thing that makes things good and bad is the emphasis that we place on it, right? On that energy. There's no such thing as bad and good. Only what we place onto that energy. So whether we see it as good or bad or whether we stay neutral, it doesn't matter. So if you stay neutral, then there's no such thing as good and bad. There's just experiences, right? Okay, so that is going to conclude your reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, Virgo. If you did, you know, thumbs up the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. I uploaded a bunch of shorts for you guys to enjoy. And I'm getting ready to do um, a special bonus read for Cancer, Libra, and Pisces because they have given me so many views and I'm so grateful. And that's just my way of showing gratitude. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my information is in the description box. Click on the Goldie Appointment Fix link and you got me. All right, I love you. Bye.